Hey guys, welcome to Cine Topical. Nate here, and today I'm doing a top 10 list. And it's a top 10 list of 10 of my least favorite movies. I have a really hard time uh, saying that these are just absolutely, without a doubt, my 10 most least favorite movies because I don't like to spend a lot of time thinking about my least favorite things. I want to think about my favorite things. And these are 10 that came to mind. But I did put the 10 that I did come to mind in order that I least like them the most. Uh, number 10, I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be some controversial picks on this, but that's how I feel. Uh, and sometimes it's because I just really, really don't like the movie. Sometimes it's because the movie is so over-freaking-rated that I just can't stand it anymore. Um, and sometimes it's for other reasons. But, number 10, it's Black Panther. really don't like that movie anymore. And I'll tell you why. It's because everybody talks about how great it is, but it has the stupidest CGI rhinos that I've ever seen in my entire life. And the fight scenes when him and Killmonger are both in their full suits are garbage. They're terrible. And honestly, the last third of that movie is not very good. And I don't care for it much at all. Alrighty then. Number nine for me is going to be a pretty recent film. But I still can't stand it, and that is Coda. Uh, I don't understand how this movie won Best Picture. I did not think it was a very good movie at all. Personally, found it very boring. The emotional beats of it did not hit for me very much at all. And I think the only reason that people praise it is because it did the right thing uh, by casting people that actually have hearing difficulties, which is awesome. And I think it's a great thing to make a movie about, but that movie... Wasn't that good? That movie could have been a Hallmark movie. What? And I think it got praise that it didn't deserve. And I think that there's a good version of that movie to be made with uh, an appropriate cast. And that coda isn't it. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, number eight is Rocky. Uh, mostly because Strange Wayne likes it so much. And he tries to tell me it's better than Star Wars. And that's just not true. But I finally watched Rocky for the first time. In a very long time, and I'm not going to pull for any protagonist that uh, has a woman in their house who's telling them that they're not comfortable and they want to leave, and then they don't let her leave, and that really bothers me. And I think Rocky's kind of a shitbag for that. So, number seven is Back to the Future. This is, in my opinion, one of the most, I don't know if overrated is the right term but overappreciated movies of all time marty mcfly is the most flat stagnant boring protagonist in just about any movie i've ever watched uh and i don't understand the love for back to the future unbelievable number six for me is dumb and dumber 2 uh and the reason why i hate this movie so much is because i absolutely love dumb and dumber it is one of my most favorite movies of all time uh, i think it's absolutely hilarious and I have a bit of a nostalgic connection to it because it's just one of those movies that pretty much everybody in my family really loves. And so I remember watching it a lot growing up and we quote it to each other all the time. And so I have a legitimate connection to the original Dumb and Dumber. So I was very excited. I mean, Dumb and Dumber, were, that movie's not good. I don't like it either. But it's kind of its own thing. Like it didn't bring Jim Carrey and, uh, wow, massive brain fart. Six and a half hours later. It didn't bring Jeff Daniels or Jim Carrey back. It's like this weird prequel thing. And it was pretty stupid. But, uh, and I'll never watch it again. But it didn't deserve to be on this list because Dumb and Dumber 2 did bring them back. And, like, there's no reason for that movie to be the way it is. It is not funny. It is absolutely terrible. The plot is incredibly stupid. Uh, it took two incredibly dumb characters and then, like, made them caricatures of themselves. You don't make caricatures of dumb. You make characters... Caric you make caricatures of things that are good or smart or, you know, badass. When you take stupid and you make it a parody of stupid, it doesn't work. And so that movie made me really mad because it's a sequel to one of my favorite movies with the original cast and it was garbage. Uh, kind of in the same vein, 
Uh, number five, I have Jurassic World. I think that movie's not good. I don't like it. The sequels are even worse. Um, but the thing is, Jurassic Park is potentially still thinking about it. Uh, but Jurassic Park is potentially my most favorite movie of all time. And Jurassic Park 2, or Lost World Jurassic Park, I understand it's not a good movie, but I was still very young when it came out, so I got some enjoyment out of it as a child. Jurassic Park 3, kind of the same thing. You know, it is what it is. They brought Dr. Grant back. That was awesome. Uh, still not a super great movie, but I wasn't really there at that point in time, being a very young person. I wasn't there as much for movie plot. I was there to see cool dinosaurs. They delivered. And then Jurassic Park or Jurassic World comes along. It's like, first of all, we're going to put Chris Pratt in it, who I just don't like. Okay. Uh, we're going to have Bryce Dallas Howard, who I think is an incredible actress, literally like sprinting in heels the whole time. Doesn't make any sense. That's fair. And B, also now the dinosaurs, instead of being these like crazy, untamable, like, uh, beast, like that is the magic of Jurassic Park is that. Uh, it's man versus nature. It is an unstoppable force. You cannot control it. It's like, oh, hey, uh, he can train raptors now and, and build a relationship. Screw that. I don't want to see that. Like, that's not the point of Jurassic Park. Like, the point is that man went too far and it tampered with nature and it has to pay the price. And the solution to that shouldn't be, well, tame it. I don't like that. It doesn't make sense. And then they got in all these like hybrid dinosaurs and also they're stupid. They made a clone of a person at one point. Like, I understand that wasn't all in the first movie, but that first movie started it and I can't stand it. Please stop making Jurassic Park movies. Just let me enjoy the first one and not have to hear about it anymore. Number four for me, Dazed and Confused. I pretty much hate any movie that the stoner community has adopted because it's like, their whole personality. Like, I know dudes whose whole fucking personality is the Big Lebowski. It's like, it's not even a bad movie. But you've ruined it for me. I can't stand it anymore because I can't stand you. But it is what it is. I don't think Days is Confused is very good. I don't think there's a lot of point to that movie. Strange Wayne likes to tell me I only don't like it because of how creepy Matthew McConaughey's character is. But that's not really the case. I just don't really like the movie that much at all. And I also just don't really like 70s movies that much. Speaking of... Number three, so I'm just going to tell you right now, my top three are three of what a lot of people consider to be some of the greatest comedies of all time, and I think they are all garbage. So, number three for me, it's Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's right, I said it! If you have ever seen a YouTube video of clips from that movie, you've seen everything you need to see, don't go watch it, it's not good. It's not even that funny. And honestly, the clips that you have seen from that movie are funnier out of the context of the film than they are in the context of the film. Yet this movie is so widely praised. And some people have it as the, the funniest or best comedy of all time. That is ridiculous. Uh, skip it. It's not that good. Like, Life of Brian was better than Holy Grail, and it's still not very good to me. Uh, so, the movie's bad. Number two is, I really just want to take the whole series... Or his whole franchise. Uh, we're just going to go with Vacation. Uh, I hate Chevy Chase. Can't stand him. I like Fletch. Fletch is pretty good. I don't mind Fletch that much. But that's pretty much where it stops. I don't think any of the Vacation movies are very funny. I think Clark Griswold is the least interesting character of all time. And a complete shitbag. And completely flat. And boring. And I don't understand these movies. And I hate how beloved they are. And then number one, really kind of in the same vein of the other two, is freaking Airplane. Airplane is not funny. It's not. And it's not even because... Like, I don't even care about the uh, I Speak Jive or like the other like racist or prejudiced stuff in it. Like That doesn't really bother me. Especially from a movie from that time period. I'm not going to knock points off of it for that. It's just not funny. It's not. like, And I love. I love slapstick comedy. And this is it. At it's worst. It is the most lowbrow version of an already incredibly lowbrow version of comedy. And it stinks. 
and I hate it. But feel free to let me know how wrong I am in the comment section below, or you could just join my conversation and let me know what some of your least favorite movies are. Scroll back up, hit the like button, and subscribe. It's not a game, it's a red stick.